Well, America has Bigfoot, Nepal has the abominable snowman, and apparently Iceland has a giant worm monster. Seriously. Recently, an alleged sighting of the mystery beast caught on tape has reignited the myth, so ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman went to see if he could get a glimpse for himself. Can you see it? That squiggly thing in the water? Suddenly, Iceland isn't laughing about its own version of the Loch Ness Monster. In a country of odd natural wonders and lots of ice and snow, they still talk of trolls and elves. But a lake monster? It was dismissed as a charming old legend until recently when a local man nabbed this video of the mysterious monster with the mouth-garbling 16-letter name, Lagerflotsormer. Welcome to Egelstadir. I think that's how you pronounce it. A remote area of spectacular fjords and finger lakes. Helter. Jeffrey. Very First nice stop, to meet you. the witness. Piotr Kerolf, the sheep farmer who shot the now famous video, he lives on a ramshackle farm overlooking the lake where the monster, or worm as they call it, is said to live. So how did the worm move when you saw it? What, what kind of movement did it make? Just like a snake? Like a snake. Oh. He was having his morning coffee when he spotted the creature. Just to be clear, you just had coffee for breakfast, nothing more to drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had alcohol in seven years. He hasn't tasted alcohol in seven years. In seven okay. He adds he's been told about the monster since he was a boy. This is a very old monster. Ah, very old. Who better than the local historian to fill us in? He was looking at a map from 1595. It just said, in this lake lives a huge monster that often appears when something dreadful is going to happen. One troubling detail, ancient records and historic sightings suggest the monster is miles long with a hump back. The creature in Hjorter's video is big, but not that big. Do you but know anyone who's seen the monster? Yeah, I know, I know, actually, I know a couple of people that have seen the monster, yeah, and, and people that I believe in. The, My mother-in-law, she has seen the monster, for example, I don't doubt that. <laughs> When we, nobody's ever going to question a mother in law's <laughs> sighting of a monster. Some think what you're seeing here is just ice from the spring thaw. Others think it's just a fishing net. Do you believe that there really is a lager floats orm? Not as a living creature. I think it's impossible. Why? Because a living creature has to have something to eat. Well, aren't there fish in there? There's a fish, but I don't think it's enough for a big creature. But then he offers this. When I drive around the lake looking for birds or reindeer, I always look over and I have my camera to be prepared if I see something. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't believe it, but you're prepared to be for the possibility. Yes. Which brings us back to Hjorter, the farmer, who can be surprisingly philosophical from his perch overlooking the lake. Do you believe it? It's a yes and no question, says the farmer. When they say God exists, I mean you've never seen him. Does the Lagerflotsormer exist? Well, you have to believe. That from one of the few people to have ever seen it. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline on the shores of Lagerflots in Egelstadir, Iceland.